Hello, my name is Stephanie Taylor and I'm here from the Google Open Source Programs Office to talk to you about a contest that we will be running this fall and winter that we'd like you to participate in. The contest is called Google Codein. Google Codein is a contest designed for 13 to 17 year old pre-university students and is intended to get students involved in working with open source software projects. We have chosen 18 of these projects that will provide mentors for students throughout the contest period. These projects will have a list of tasks of varying difficulty levels that students will be able to choose from to earn prizes during the contest. Prizes include t-shirts, money, certificates of participation, and a grand prize trip to Google's Mountain View, California campus next spring. Organizations have divided tasks into eight different categories. The first is coding. You may have heard of our sister program, Google Summer Code, for university students that involves working on one large coding project for an entire summer. Well, this contest is called Google Coden, so there will be smaller coding tasks available from the organizations for you to work on. But open source software development involves much more than just coding. There will also be documentation tasks, which could include writing documentation about new features in the software, or documenting things about the software that no one has had a chance to document yet. There will also be outreach tasks, where you will be trying to get people interested and involved in the community. So you might be making a YouTube video, or designing a logo, or designing flyers for conferences. There will be tasks associated with quality assurance. So maybe you will be working on bugs, or other features that are causing problems in the software. There will be tasks related to research, and they could include searching for solutions to fix a problem, or maybe looking into other alternatives to the way the software currently works. There will be training tasks. These could include making a video or a screencast, teaching others how to use the software, or maybe teaching others why they might want to use the software. There will be translation tasks that may include translating a document from English to French, or maybe Spanish to Mandarin. Having documents in as many languages as possible is vital to expanding the reach of these open source software organizations, so there will be many translation tasks available for you to choose from. The final category is user interface. There could be tasks related to making sure the website is easier for users to navigate, or that the software itself is easy to use. Now that we've talked about the types of tasks available, let's discuss the difficulty and points associated with the tasks. Organizations will rate each task as either easy, medium, or hard before publishing the task to the contest site. Easy task could be translating a short document into a language that you are familiar with. And a hard task could be to write a large piece of code that could take you many hours or even days to complete. Easy tasks will receive one point, medium tasks two points, and hard tasks will be worth four points. These point values are important if you are interested in trying to be one of the top ten point earners during the contest and winning the grand prize trip to Google's headquarters next spring. Keep in mind that the points aren't important if you are just interested in earning the t-shirt certificates and cash during the contest. For example, completing one task of any difficulty level will earn you a t-shirt and a certificate of participation. Completing three tasks of any difficulty level will get you the t-shirt, certificate of participation, and 100 US dollars. You can earn a maximum of 500 US dollars along with that t-shirt and certificate of participation if you complete 15 tasks. And those 15 tasks can be of any difficulty level. They can all be easy, they can be a mixture of easy, hard, and medium. And at the end of the contest, the 10 students with the highest number of accumulated points will win the grand prize trip to Google's headquarters in Mountain View, California for themselves and a parent or legal guardian for late next spring. Now let's talk about some of the important dates for the contest. November 21st is the start of the contest. This is the day when you can start claiming tasks and working on them. You'll want to go to google-melange.com and register to participate in the contest and start earning points and prizes. The contest will end on January 16th, so you only have a couple of months to complete the task and earn your points and prizes. We will announce the 10 grand prize winners on February 14th. Again, they receive an all-expenses-paid trip to Google's headquarters in Mountain View, California for themselves and a parent or legal guardian in the late spring. The exact date of the trip will be announced later. For more information, go to code.google.com slash GCI and go to google-melange.com to register and start claiming tasks. I hope you're all interested in participating, and we hope to see you on November 21st. Thank you.